Hey everyone, welcome to Ian and Friends. We have a special guest here, Amber Neiman. Welcome. Thank you. Excited and, to be here. Yeah, yeah. Let's uh, let's talk about this elite women's race on Saturday. I have a few points I want to go over. Um, number one, I, you know, how hard is this climb? We rode it uh, yesterday with the U.S. national team. W what do you see being the dynamic on this course? Um, you've ridden you've ridden 14 World Championship <laughs> road races yourself, so. You, you, you know how these tend to play out. Yeah, I mean, I think the hardest climb is that climb in the middle of the race, 60K in. That's gonna be like a massive factor in creating a first split. Um, this late climb, I think the bigger issue is gonna be where it falls within the course of the 160 kilometers. You know, you have to do it three times that late in the race. Um, it didn't, to me, it didn't ride as hard as it looked in the car. Um, so I think it is a factor, I think, It'll take somebody really drilling it, though, um, and, and probably the second or third time as opposed to the first time. And then, you know, the U.S. women are so strong. We have such a talented team, but we just don't have the climbers necessarily maybe to match the Dutch favorites, Anna van der Breggen and Annemiek van Bleuten. Do you think that'll affect our tactics? Can we send riders up the road early? Is it possible that a Megan Garnier, a Taylor Wiles can get up the road early and get out in front of the um, explosions that are likely to happen on this Eagles climb? You know, I think realistically, um, the better idea would be to get as many Americans over the top of that first climb. Um, I think with Megan and Katie, they're our go-to people and they are, they're close to being able to climb with those girls. You know, on the right day, they could be close enough and you figure you got the long descent back and a little bit of technical in town. So you don't necessarily want to send those two up too early. Now, some of the others, I think, you know, you're either going to be dictated to or you're going to dictate the race. And so using a couple of those girls early or getting them up ahead, like you say, I think would be a really wise idea. And so uh, Katie Hall, for me, is a real leader on this team, uh, winner of the Tour of California. She's proven herself to be, you know, a world-class rider, yet she doesn't have a ton of international experience, to my knowledge. She is heading to the World Tour next year with Bulls Dolman. Um, is this a big test for her, for how, how she fares at a, at a world-class event? And, and yeah, how, how do you see her performing? Yeah, this is a huge test for her. But you know what? You saw her go head-to-head -head with Anna at the Tour of California. I don't remember if that was this year or last year. And she was right there. Um, she certainly has, her, has it in her to do it. So how is she going to manage the energy? The first part of the race is going to be really important. And then when things throw down, again, it's that fatigue resistance late in the race. So um, Katie's a pretty smart bike racer. Um, she, you know, the Dutch are obviously the favorite, but, you know, she's probably our best chance, she and Megan, as far as being able to stay with them or stay close enough to them to be in the mix. And then uh, Kern Rivera mm -hmm. obviously is just a phenomenal bike racer. She t seems to have that winner's instinct and obviously an incredible sprint. If this course, depending on the way there's, this race plays out, um, you know, there's 12 kilometers from the top of this climb to the finish. It's downhill, it's technical, it, it plays to her skill set. Do you see a scenario where she's able to come back to a reduced bunch and maybe factor in a sprint for a medal? It could happen. You know, if the people up front start to play games tactically, um, they're going to slow up. The chasers coming from behind obviously have a chance. Corinne, people forget how good a bike racer she is. And she's a classics racer too. And this course, I mean, the demands of this course with the kilojoule expenditure <laughs> and just the duration of it, you know, it's going to require somebody who can withstand that type of a race. And Corinne is certainly somebody who could be there in the end of one of those races. Now, can she be close enough after, you know, a 15, 20 minute LT effort three times in the end, it's going to be difficult, but it wouldn't surprise me. And she certainly can make time on the descents and through town for sure. Cool. Well, uh, we look forward to watching the elite women race on Saturday and we will be back with an Ian and Friends recap uh, highlighting all the action. And yeah, cool. thanks for being here. Amber. All right. Thanks.